Hey, this is Aaron with Faith's Walk Ministries. I'm doing my devotions this morning, and I come across a passage that really kind of hits home. Have you ever been living for God and being used for God, and then um, you said something wrong, you did something, and it reminds you, and all your past sins come back, and even though you know God forgiven you, but even with what you just did, what you just said, and you feel guilty about it, and some others may look at that, especially if they've witnessed it, and say, ah, you shouldn't be in ministry. You shouldn't do anything because, hey, I saw you sin. You know, David went through that, and I found uh, that in Psalm chapter 40. I want to share it with you here. Psalm 40, I'm going to start in verse 10. I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. I have not concealed thy loving kindness and thy truth from the great congregation. So he has ministered publicly, ministered to the people. Now watch this. Withhold not thou thy tender mercies from me, O Lord, that thy loving kindness and thy truth continually preserve me. For innumerable evils have compassed me about. Mine iniquities have taken hold upon me so that I am not able to look up. They are more than the hairs of mine head. Therefore, my heart faileth me. And it goes, verse 13, be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. So this is a person who's asking forgiveness. They are repenting. Um, but look at what it says, uh, going to those people who just kind of point it out and point it out, point it out. Let them be ashamed and confounded together that seek after my soul to destroy it. Let them be driven backward and put to shame that wish me evil. Let them be desolate for reward of their shame that say unto me, aha, aha. Let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. Let such as love thy salvation say continually, the Lord be magnified. You see, as a Christian, when somebody uh, might fall and repents, you're never supposed to be able to be enjoying in their sin, but magnifying in thy salvation that he shows to you and to others and that the Lord be magnified. And they will say that. And it says, but I am poor and needy. So he's humble. The one who's praying this is humble. Yet the Lord thinketh upon me. Thou art my help and my deliverer. Make no tarrying, oh my God. And so I want to encourage you today. If uh, you have that going on in your life, just know that David went through it too. And God will forgive, God will restore, and he will not tarry. All you have to do is call on his name. Anyway, God bless. Thanks for watching.